Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to make some Valentine's Day coffee cup embellishments. I love making these for all occasions. It's like one of my favorite embellishments to make, even though they are a little bit time consuming. So here are some previous ones I made before. This was just like a Christmas theme. Then I also have ones that I made that didn't really have a theme, they were just because, and that's these guys right here. But now this one, I used an SVG file that I had created. So I had like a bigger coffee cup die that was probably like this big, and I had scanned it into my computer and I made it smaller to an SVG file. So I will link that video down below in case you guys do not have like a super tiny coffee cup die. The other one I showed you guys, the Christmassy one, that one I actually used this Spellbinders Dye D-Lights um, little uh, coffee cup. I don't really know, I mean it says it's S2-212. I believe they don't make this anymore and I actually had to find mine on eBay and paid like an arm and a leg, but I really like the size of this and I like how it has a cute little opening and stuff. So I got um, my little coffee cup die as well, but again, if you don't have that, which I didn't before, um, and I found a way to make um, my little coffee cup embellishments anyway. So I will, again, link that video down below. But yeah, so I'm just using this piece from the die set right here. And I had already cut out all my pieces. I have a whole bunch of like patterned papers and stuff. And then I also cut out a whole bunch of white ones just to um, use this as a backing because I like my embellishments to be sturdy and this is a 110 pound cardstock, the white. So I have a whole bunch of little patterns cut out already. I also cut out some of these super teeny tiny bows. This is actually from a Tim Holtz Sizzix die. Um, it's actually meant to be a, just for like gingerbread house pieces. So I originally got this die for like the candy pieces in here. Um, I can't even get like the, there's like a die that goes with it for the gingerbread, but I can't even get it because it won't work with my machine. It's like a Biggs die, so that won't work. Um, but there's like a little super teeny bow die here. I don't know if you guys could even tell on here. Oh, they show it like a little bit um, in the gingerbread house, but again, yeah, it's a gingerbread house die. Oh, you guys could see it here. Um, so yeah, this is a Sizzix Biggs die, Tim Holtz. Um, it's the number 661608 in case you guys were looking for it. So I just used that to cut out my little teeny tiny bow. Okay, I think I've covered everything. So I'm gonna get started on showing you guys how I make these cute little coffee cups. So the first thing I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put all these aside. First thing I'm gonna do is actually go to these coffee cups, the little patterned papers. I'm sure you guys could tell it kind of like creates lines in here, this specific die. So what I'm gonna do here is cut along those lines. I'm just cutting off the top layer of my coffee cup. Not my top layer, I mean like the top piece of it. So I have two separated pieces. I have the top and I have the bottom because I want to mix and match. So that's what I'm going to do with all of these. We're going to split them up guys. All right. Okay guys, so I have all of these separated now, tops and bottoms, and what I'm gonna do is kind of mix and match how I want them to go. Um, I don't really know how they're gonna go. These papers aren't from the same collection, but we're gonna try to mix and match these. So I'm just gonna like put down all of my coffee cups and play around with this and try to find a matching top to these.
Okay guys, I think I like it like this. So now what I'm gonna do is take my white cardstock pieces. I'm gonna make sure all of these holes are punched out. I didn't do that yet, so I'm gonna do that now. I like the little teeny holes. And I also show you guys how you could do this if you are doing the SVG file, like if you're creating your own SVG file. Um, I didn't see one at the time, otherwise I would have purchased one. I didn't see like a nice nice coffee cup die that or a coffee cup SVG file that I liked, which is why I ended up making my own SVG file. But I do show you guys how you can make your own little like piece where you like drink from. They're super cute guys. I just, I love it. So make sure to check out that video in case you guys do not have a, um, a little teeny die. Cause you could use any coffee cup die that you have. And I show you guys how to create like the different layering pieces, how you could do a different piece for, um, the top of the coffee cup, how you could do a different piece for the middle of the coffee cup, kind of like the sleeve. So I show you guys all that in, um, that other video. So now what I'm going to do is just take, um, these like white cardstock pieces and I'm just going to glue my pieces down. That's all right now. Okay. And they're already looking super cute. So you're just going to glue them down and they're going to be adorable. And that's it guys. So I'm going to glue all of these down to my white cardstock. Look how cute all of these are guys. They're so adorable. I messed up on one of them and I cut this a little too small. Um, so we're gonna try to put something there and like fix that at some point because you guys could see like the little white and I love this paper. This is all I had left of this paper, enough to make uh, one little coffee cup and I kept it because I love that paper so much. And look guys, it came in handy. So anyway, um, now what I'm gonna do is add some corrugated paper to these. Um, so I just have little strips from the last time I made these, but they come in uh, 12 by 12 sheets or at least the ones that I have come in 12 by 12 sheets. So I'm just going to take the corrugated paper and I'm going to stick it on to every single little coffee cup. Okay guys, here's the little update on these cute little coffee cup embellishments. Now what's left to do is decorate them. Um, so I don't know, I might add in little jemmies and stuff. I was thinking of adding like these cute little bows. Like they just add so much to the little coffee cups. And then obviously we're gonna add straws too. To embellish these guys, I have some Nuvo drops here that we may use. I have the little teeny bows that I showed you guys that I had um, die cut out, little jemmies. We're gonna go with something simple. I took some time to try to like think about like what I really wanna add, but I think with this project in particular, like simple is going to be the best option like I tried a ribbon I tried lace um, and I just like you know um, wasn't working with this so we're gonna go with something simple here for example I have a little bow that I'm just gonna attach with some hot glue you can use dimensionals but um, my corrugated paper already has some dimensions so I am just not doing that okay so I'm just attaching this with some hot glue Okay, and then I have these little jemmies. These are from Alina Craft. I'm using my little picker upper tool and we're just gonna place this down. So with this, I'm just gonna put down a drop of, actually, I don't know, should I use hot glue? Oh, that was a lot of glue. Okay, and I'm just gonna put down this jemmy. I just held it there for a little bit until I knew it was going to stick down. Okay. 
and that that's it for like that little embellishment just want to show you guys up close what that looks like i have the little bow and i have a little jemmy but it's really cute so i may go back and still add the nouveau drops but for right now oh and then some of them i was thinking of actually adding in um like heart jemmies so i have sorry i got some hot glue down here um, I have some heart jemmies. I believe they're also from the Alina Craft Store. I'm going to show you guys just grabbing some. And they look like this. So I have like a dark pink, a lighter pink, and I also have a red one. So for those, some of these might get little jemmies. I'm thinking this one might get a jemmy. No, I don't like that. Because this one, like a bow, is going to be too much. So this one might get like a little jemmy. Um, this one might get like a red jemmy. Okay, so these guys are going to get a little jemmies. Okay. Those are really cute. I don't know about this one yet. I'm not loving the little Jemmy. So we're gonna put him aside for now. But I have all of these guys still. I have some more little bows. Okay guys, so the embellishing part is finished. I need to add some nouveau drops. And the way I do this is I just like, I don't know, I do them like in a row, if that makes sense. Not all of them, like something like this. I want some of this nouveau drop because it's a lot of reds. Um, so I'm just gonna put little teeny drops. Okay, just like that, and then I'll probably put another one down here. Okay, you can't really tell, but it definitely adds to this. So that one is done. I will show you guys up close um, in a little while. Okay, I think it's more so the plain ones that I just feel need a little slovin'. Next thing we're going to do is um, some Winkastella. So I have like this Winkastella pen. I like to put this on the tops, um, but only kind of like where um, the coffee cup splits. It just adds like a little something, but it's very subtle. I just really like how um, it looks. And then we still need the little straws. That part is like the part that takes the longest. Just want to show you a couple of these up close. So the Winkastella is at the top. I don't know if you guys could see um, like that shimmer. I don't know. But then here are the Nouveau drops top and bottom on this one specifically. This one has a little heart jemmy and like a foam bow. This one has a mirror bow with a little jemmy as well. They're really cute guys. Oh, I love it. All right guys, so then I have these little strips of paper. Okay, I just cut up some scraps, um, just like that. And what you're gonna do is basically just roll it. Um, so you might wanna use a bowl fo bone folder first to kind of curl it either way you want and you're gonna try your best to just like curl these things I don't know you guys can't see what I'm doing they're really hard to do you kind of have to fold like a piece in first um, but they look amazing so I definitely recommend adding the cute little teeny itty bitty straws
Okay, so here's gonna be one straw for me. I just basically rolled it, as you guys could see. And you're gonna add some hot glue, try to get it to stay. And then you wanna roll that really fast onto the hot glue. It's not perfect. And it did not even stick. Didn't roll it fast enough. But then basically, you're just gonna cut that. Okay, I'm gonna cut this in half. You don't need a lot, which is the good thing. So normally when you do like one roll, you'll kind of get like two out of it. You're gonna flatten down one side of this and that's the part that's gonna get glued down and it's just gonna go something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna add, I gotta be careful with this one because this one has Nouveau drops, but you're gonna add some hot glue to that flat side and see where you wanted this to go. You can stick them out a little bit more too if you want. It's totally personal preference. And I finished with the straws. Aren't they so cute? The last thing I like to do is add some more Wink Stella at the top as if like somebody were drinking it. It just makes it like a little darker. I don't know, does that make sense? But I like to do that as well. Just at the very tops of the straws. So then I'm gonna go back and do that, but they're so cute. And there we have it guys, cute little coffee cup embellishments. Here's the final look at some of these coffee cup embellishments. Aren't they so adorable? I love these so much. I love making them. I make them all the time. Um, the straws again are the most tedious part, but they add so much to these cute little coffee cup embellishments. So I definitely recommend doing that and not skipping out on that step, but Obviously, if you guys don't have like little hands um, for like the little teeny itty bitty stuff, then um, you'll have to go without it. But yeah, they're so cute. And then here is the rest of them. They are adorable. You guys see like the Wink of Stella on the straws and everything. There's just a lot of detail on these cute little mini things. Like look how many fit in one hand. They're so cute though. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching and I shall see you guys in my next crafty video. I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you, bye.